The men and women of law enforcement around the world have put their trust in our products for more than a quarter of a century. They know that everything we design and manufacture is unmatched in terms of quality and performance. What I have here is a, um, it's a thong that you can pick up pretty cheap. Go ahead and cut off the grip. To test baton strength, Joe Resch asks VP of Manufacturing first cuts off the grip of a baton that looks like an asp. He then puts the baton in the fixture of an Instron machine that will apply load to the tip. So putting pressure on the tip of the baton. The goal was to take the load to 350 pounds, but the baton tip clearly can't handle it. Joe stopped the machine when it reached 200 pounds. You can see the amount of bend in the shaft. I would say that baton is inoperable now. In an effort to compare and contrast, the S baton that we'll be testing today is the F21B. Joe goes through the exact same process with one of our batons. He again cuts off the grip of the baton and places it in the fixture. The machine again applies load to the baton tip with the goal being 350 pounds. The pressure on the baton. pounds. 350 pounds. And now I'll release the pressure off the tip. When Joe removes our baton from the machine, you can see it handled the heavy load, and he demonstrates that the ass baton is fully functional. Close and open. In the end, we're a technology-driven company that commits a significant percentage of our annual revenue to the design, production, and testing of new products. This philosophy has set the standard of safety for the profession products police can literally stake their lives on.